Hi guys and welcome back to the Football Cards and Stickers YouTube channel. Uh, today we're going to have something a little bit different uh, but the same uh, if you guys see what we mean. We're still going to do a full box opening and review a fantastic collection uh, released by Panini uh, for this uh, previous season just gone uh, in Austria in this sense. Uh, but first uh, we want to address the uh, current trend in the collecting market uh, where it seems like uh, everyone is after rookie, what they call rookie cards. Uh, it's mainly a US thing uh, which has now uh, infiltrated Europe and uh, affected our sport which we love so much, football of course. Uh, here uh, we have videos, if you just search on YouTube, uh, there's videos from US YouTubers uh, who know nothing about football, uh, less, they call it even soccer, let's, believe, let's uh, be real, uh, they call it soccer. Uh, and they have no idea uh, the players, they just want to pick up uh, young players in their first season as a professional uh, from Panini, either the cards uh, or stickers. So it's a real uh, growing trend, uh, it means uh, set, set collectors such as uh, myself and uh, many of you guys uh, watching this video having trouble to get complete sets now uh, because of the fact, for example, uh, Kylian Mbappe is in a collection, etc. Uh, so we just want to address that. Uh, it's funny some of the videos you watch as well, uh, they'll say uh, look out for Mason Greenwood of Manchester United for example, that's just one example, uh, as if no one has ever heard of him. Uh, everyone knows he's going to be one of the best players uh, in world football, uh, but they're the first person as if uh, that they know uh, this player. Uh, another one, Phil Foden for example, I saw the other day, uh, who's been about years, everyone who uh, follows English football knows Phil Foden. Uh, if they want to be uh, creative, um, why don't they just uh, announce uh, Makuku from uh, Dortmund, for example, if you know about football, uh, then you know uh, that kid, I think he's around 16 years of age at the moment, he hasn't played for the first team, uh, but he's going to be the next uh, Erling Haaland, uh, which, which brings us on to our focus today, and it's a search for Erling Haaland. Uh, we've got two boxes uh, supplied for us here, fantastic, of the Austria Bundesliga, of course, when uh, Erling played for Red Bull Leipzig. Uh, I should say Holland uh, as his correct pronunciation uh, in Norwegian. Apologies, guys, if I keep saying it the English version, but uh, it is what it is. 2019-20 season, as you see, Austria Bundesliga. Uh, Red Bull Leipzig had some fantastic uh, other players in there as well. Each packet was uh, 0.9 euros per packet uh, inside 50 packs, containing five stickers per pack. Uh, for the collection, very, very similar to the uh, fantastic Premier League collection, which has blown everything uh, in the UK collectibles out of the market uh, this year. That sticker collection, it beat Adrenaline, uh, it beat Match Attacks hands down. Everything is unbelievable. Uh, now, of course, Erling Haaland's first sticker is in there before he moved to uh, Borussia Dortmund. Uh, we've got a sneak cheat for you here. Here it is. Erling Haaland, his first ever sticker as you see, 2019-20 uh, Austrian uh, season, number 32 in the collection uh, as you see there. So this is what, uh, for example, people go crazy over, uh, which is surreal really, uh, but uh, we're going to... We're going to mimic them and do a video as we search for more Erling Haaland's uh, inside one box today and we'll probably do a live opening uh, shortly there. Apologies for the uh, long, long uh, thing, uh, long, long intro, but let's just show you Erling Haaland's father, of course, Alvinger ha Haaland. Uh, there he is from Forest. There, this is in the 1994-95 season. That would be his rookie sticker, as you see there. Uh, for example, God knows how much that would be worth. Although, uh, not a brilliant footballer, but uh, did have a uh, distinguished career in England. Of course, he played for Forest, Leeds, and Manchester City between uh, for a full decade, 1993 and 2003. Uh, interestingly enough, uh, for you Manchester United fans, uh, Roy Keane 
Dean enders his career with a, a, cr a real bad challenge in 2001 uh, in the Manchester derby where uh, he done his cruciate ligaments of uh, Alfinger Holland, and uh, it lasted till 2003 and he had to retire. Uh, of course Keane uh, chased him uh, a long time, about four years uh, after an incident in 1997 where they clashed also and uh, Keane got injured. Uh, so let's have a look at the uh, first, let's have a look at our first, um, the album first. Uh, really nice album on the front there. As you see the stickers really cool. Here's all the uh, different teams in the Austrian league there with their, their pages. Uh, really well featured. I really love this and the map of course that looks really cool. Uh, this is a big team sticker here for example as you see we start with Red Bull Salzburg. Uh, so four stickers six, seven, eight, nine supplying the team. Uh, so that's going to be a uh, a real quality uh, stick in that will when we'll have to be careful there. Uh, here's some of the other decent players, Takumi Minamino of course and Daka uh, and of course uh, Dominic Soboslai, I hope I've pronounced that right to you Hungarian viewers. Uh, of course he being heavily linked with AC Milan currently, uh, LASK, uh, we have uh, all the different teams here, Austria Vienna Still going strong, Sturm Graz, they were good a few years ago, Sturm Graz, um, Spuzu, <laughs> SKN St. Polten, wow, <laughs> uh, Rapid Vienna, uh, I remember Everton beating those in a Cup Winners Cup final uh, many, many years ago, uh, Mattersburg, so some really cool stuff here, uh, Ad Admira Vaka, I think that is. Uh, so some old old teams from years gone by, still about, of course, as you'd expect them to be. Uh, I like the big numbering on the back of the stickers and uh, cool design of the stickers, of course. Uh, so let's uh, pop those over there. We've got two albums. We'll have one to uh, give away in a future video. Uh, here's our box we're going to open for uh, this video. So let's get straight underway. Here we go. Wow, so 50 packs as you see. Uh, I really like the outside of the sticker pack design uh, with that diagonal line there. Uh, that's really cool. That coincides with, of course, uh, the design of the stickers. Uh, so let's see who we grab in our first pack. No messing about. Here we go. Uh, for you guys checking the number, we're looking for number 32 in desperation. Here we go. Uh, so there's part of a team sticker. Fabian Miesenbock. Or oh, very cool. WSC uh, Swarovski Tyrol. Uh, badge there and uh, ground uh, maybe it's the ground we were uh, saying it was the uh, team lineup but there's a ground there as you see onto our next pack is uh, Red Bull celebrating there that was uh, number four in the collection so that's basically what that was uh, what we mentioned earlier uh, Husan Balic uh, Lubicic Sabitza Thomas Sabitza and another part of the ground this time, Admira. And manager by the looks of it, uh, Gerhard Struber, Alexander Kopfler. As you see, it's uh, most of these Austrian who play in the Austrian league, although we see uh, either a New Zealander or Australian there. What badges? Uh, that with the Union Jack on, guys. Uh, James Jago. I think you have about a one in two or three chance of grabbing uh, the so-called sticker everyone's looking for in every box. I think that's the way. Wow, what a pack that was. Uh, puzzle pack, let's call that. <laughs> Here we go. Ooh, 37. Very close. That's the next team, though, I guess. Uh, Philip Netzer, Gabitla. Ullmann and LASK badge there. wonder if we'll be able to complete one of these sets uh, from the two boxes we have to open, who knows? Here we've got uh, Maximilian Sachs, what a cool name that one. Uh, Gouet, looks like he's from Ghana. Rapid Vienna badge and TSV Hartberg badge there. P 
plenty of stands coming out. Will the search be unsuccessful? Let me know in the comments below guys. Do you think we will find one or be unlucky? You know how unlucky Football Cards and Stickers is. Uh, if you've uh, watched videos before, not the uh, best luck, but uh, here we are. Perhaps we've got some uh, next superstars on the way, who knows? Um, anyone can start anywhere. Oh, there's there he is actually. He's popped up in the, the uh, team lineup as you see there, top left or one from the left. Hope that's focus. There he is. Uh, Goles Barishma. They look very easy to stick in these stickers actually. That's really cool. Nice, uh, nice size. Thomas Morg, uh, Subast. I think if I was uh, deciding, I'd still uh, very much side with uh, the Premier League sticker collection, of course. Uh, I love the design of that, but these are uh, really, uh, they're basic, but such a uh, nice design, as you see. You know the set, uh, you know the league they play in, uh, the nationality of the player, etc. So, uh, that's really cool. Still no joy as yet, guys. The luck isn't with us, it looks like. Oh, there's uh, Patson Daka. Uh, he's apparently a fairly decent player. Wow, one off, guys, one off. Uh, that's the luck we kind of get, but uh, Patson Daka, a decent uh, player for Red Bull Salzburg. Of course, they won the league uh, fairly comfortably a few weeks ago now uh, from the upload date of this video. Uh, gave Liverpool a little bit of a scare in the Champions League as well, I think, uh, before Christmas, didn't they? Uh, before uh, ultimately getting eliminated at that group stage. Uh, you don't normally expect uh, Austrian sides to get further than the group stages uh, in the uh, Champions League, of course, uh, but a little bit different with uh, the Red Bull franchise, I guess, uh, pushing Salzburg into uh, next level football, I guess. Oh, they're talking of that. Very nice. Red Bull Salzburg logo. Christoph Riegler. Any of you guys uh, watching from Austria? and uh, wish to swap, I'd be more than happy to do so. It's going to be fun uh, collecting this uh, sticker set. This is our first uh, Austrian sticker set. Uh, so pretty exciting uh, to have a go. Uh, Brazilian hair, Andre Ramelo. And another one, of course, who we mentioned previously, uh, linked heavily with AC Milan and Arsenal at times. I think Dominic Zozoblai, number 24. Very cool. It's our second Red Bull. Not the big one, though. Uh, Prevalek. Kelvin Arras. I wonder what uh, the set collectors, mind you, that I mean, we have the same problem in the UK. I wonder what the set collectors, though, uh, in Austria think as the value of the collection just goes to next level uh, with Holland in the uh, collection. Uh, I guess in the future, UK collectors who uh, wish to collect the Premier League collection from 2019-20 season uh, will have the same problem uh, with Mason Greenwood's uh, sticker, of course. Currently, uh, no problem as uh, Panini has millions available of those. some nice progress through the box. I think the uh, album will look really cool. The, the headshots uh, is the way to go definitely I think for all uh, top class uh, sticker collections. I think that's another uh, Sozoblai, uh, Soz Hungarian indeed it is there as you see. Ooh. 
If only that four wasn't there, guys. Three, two, four. Uh, Thomas Goigener, uh, Siebenhandel, Emma Karic, uh, Florian Madder. Wow. The English pronunciations on these players, you can't beat it. Here we go. Uh, Morton Hulman, Merisi, Malik, uh, Jesse Marsh. It looks like he's a coach uh, there for Red Bull. Uh, American. Uh, Juna Zovic, uh, another Red Bull player there. Michael Ambicol, Lucas Raff, Solbauer, Felix, and Marcus Maya playing for Admira. Next up, Lubic. Schneg, Najmula, Razna, and Cabrera. Of course, coming to the uh, channel soon, guys. Chronicles Soccer, Panini Chronicles uh, Soccer, which contains uh, Spanish League, English League, and Italian League. Uh, so La Liga, Serie A, uh, and the Premier League, all in one. Uh, in a premium collection, uh, it's only on sale in the US and uh, Asia, unfortunately, uh, but we've managed to grab our hands on some, uh, so you'll be able to see the openings from them. Uh, some really nice cards in there as well. It's uh, Daniel Schutz, Mulder, Kinkola, Diego, and Fabian Koch. Lucic amongst those, uh, not having too much joy so far. Here we go, still fantastic, really enjoyed uh, opening these, looking at the stickers. Uh, I don't know how close we'll be to the uh, entire collection, possibly uh, around, uh, say, 75% full, I would guess. Looks like we've got another Hungarian, uh, Dominic Zodzubzlai. Uh, he's the most popular so far from uh, Red Bull. He's number three in that box. That's just Mac and Rakovic. He's uh, Lucas Ryed, Nitzlander, Weisinger, Sakic and Lema. Uh, Enoch Mwepo, uh, Lucas Marjol, here we got Branta, Rep, Wastry, Grunwald and Madeir. Still the party piece, uh, missing at the moment unfortunately. Don't envision it will be turning up, but uh, who knows? It's uh, Christopher Debarn. Andreas Ulmer and Salzburg Badge again. Who's going to be in this one? It's uh, Avlonitis, James Holland, and Emmanuel Schreiner making up the rest of that pack. Only a few left now, guys. Uh, what's the odds? Let's, uh, let's continue on. If you want a giveaway of these uh, stickers, let me know in the uh, comments below if you'd be interested. Uh, especially and a spare album of course we've uh, got to give away so uh, could be cool so stay subscribed to the Football Cards and Stickers channel of course is uh, Michael Novak, Seth Pansil, 
Alexander Valka completing that one. Uh, Risky, Yannick, Schrammel, Mark and Schwab. Penultimate pack with another. <laughs> Here he is. He's been out every day. Number four. Uh, Volenhofer, Pence, Pastor and Pongracic. And a final pack. What's the odds? The final pack where we have Kavlan, Shamabok and Grahovic. So we fail in our uh, pursuit uh, in the first box. Uh, very, very unlucky there. Never mind. Uh, we did pull some uh, great, a fair few uh, changes of stickers actually, so quite happy with that. Uh, our set will be well on its way as you see here uh, with a bulk load. And of course, uh, we got four Dominic uh, Zosblai, if only that would have been uh, Erling Haaland, and uh, one Dakar. Uh, so, uh, quite a nice opening, uh, but of course the big prize uh, wasn't present there in that box. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Uh, be sure to smash the like button. Let me know in the comments below uh, if you liked the collection. Uh, and of course, I'll see you guys all in future openings. But until then, arrivederci.